he came to redeem them that were under the law. When you're born into the family of God, you become a member of the royal family of the universe, the seed royal of heaven. We shall reign with him. The world doesn't recognize it. What a shock they're going to get. In what the Apostle Paul calls the day of the manifestation of the sons of God. The day when we take off our uniforms of butchers and bakers and candlestick makers and whatever else you do to pay the bills. And underneath are the royal robes of the sons of God. We've just been undercover agents all these years. Living here in this, on this little planet, we don't belong here, we're away from home right now, and, and living here with the express purpose of introducing people to the true king. You see, there's been a civil war in the universe, and that's why things are in such a mess. And the pretender to the throne, who has wrested away the scepter of this world from the rightful king, has convinced the human race that he's the winner. And they sided with him. But Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4 tells us that the rightful king has landed, albeit in disguise, dressed as a carpenter so he wouldn't frighten us away, and drew close to us and showed us what God was like, and then went and died for us. Oh, listen, what a king is this? There are multitudes of conquerors who have conquered by the shedding of other men's blood. But this was the only king who ever established a kingdom by the shedding of his own blood. God has made a promise. He's promised. The God who made you has promised to save all that comes to God through Christ. He won't turn you away. He came, we read, to redeem them that were under the law.